Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love forecast for this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hello, Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading focused on the first half of November from the 1st all the way through the 15th. And at this point, you guys already know this reading's a little bit late. I do apologize. Um, just had a very busy schedule lately. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the messages here, guys. And let's take a look and see what's coming up for you. I'll be pulling from these three decks. The first is my own, the Heart and Soul Love Oracle. The Heart and Soul Whispers of Love deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And then towards the end of this reading, we'll grab some angel numbers for you from this deck by Mystic Moon. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's grab some insight for you and see what it is that needs to come forward. Angels and spirit guides, please focusing on Leo. All right, let's grab some advice here. What are the energies that need to come forward at this time for Leo? We have him. Okay, so this could, of course, represent the Divine Masculine. And let's go ahead and grab a couple more and see what's going on with that. So if you happen to be focused on your masculine, maybe there's something significant here. We also have breathe. And then we have moving on. So a couple of interpretations here. Leo, either you are a divine feminine watching or thinking of a masculine. But there could be a separation here because we clearly do see somebody has decided to move on. That could be the feminine, of course. On the other side of that coin, we could have someone here who has decided to move on because maybe there's something about the connection that's no longer working for them. So let's go ahead and read through each one of these cards and then we'll grab some tarot. So this card right here, it does say we are all different and unique in our own way, yet we are all the same. We love, we live, we laugh, we dream, we hope, we hurt, we heal, and we cry too. Don't underestimate our soft side. We do have one and are just as weak and vulnerable as you are. Sometimes we can move mountains to be with you, make your dreams come true, and win you with our charms. So, of course, this could represent a person representing male energy or whoever is representing the divine masculine energy. All right, so take it how, again, it makes sense for you gender-wise. So we also have the breathe card coming through here saying, I was drowning my sorrows before you came into my life. This reminds me of somebody that if they were drowning their sorrows, maybe they were drinking to drown their sorrows, you know, to the point where they just couldn't feel their emotions. I didn't think I would ever be able to come up for air again. A broken heart can slowly kill you if you let it. Thank you for rescuing me, for helping me to finally exhale. Another interpretation that's presenting itself here, Leo, could be a person after having gone through a relationship that was no longer working, deciding to move on, and maybe somebody else comes in to help heal that broken heart and somebody that it's like a breath of fresh air, you know, somebody that you can really connect with on a much stronger, deeper level. So this moving on reference could actually be a good thing for some of you guys. So let me go ahead and read this one. It does say, I've had so much to think about lately, where I've been, where I am, and where I want to be. I know the road I've traveled. It hasn't been easy, but it hasn't broken me. I never thought I'd be traveling this road without you. It was always you and I. If our paths are meant to cross again, we will. For now, I have to move on. So that's kind of what I was talking about, where some of you guys might have already moved on to another person, or you're just preparing yourself for your next relationship, whatever that might represent after having let go or moving on from somebody because that relationship ran its course. All right, let's go ahead and grab some tarot here, Leo, and see what else we can learn from this. I'll be pulling from my 10 yellow tarot deck here for Leo. All right, so we do have a reversed queen of swords. Isn't that interesting? All right, so we've got masculine energy right here. We do have the divine feminine showing up as the queen of swords. But, but I, as I have mentioned, it is popping up 
in the reverse. And interestingly enough, this is somebody who could be bitter. This is somebody who might now have a cold heart towards a masculine because there was a situation there that might have hurt the feminine here, you know. And so it could also be the Divine Feminine choosing to move on. And maybe at this point, Divine Feminine, you've already moved on to somebody who's been able to really help you find your happiness again. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Swords. So part of moving on and detaching might have something to do with infidelity, cheating in a previous partnership maybe, and welcoming in this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, a fresh start in love. And what you're looking for in your next relationship, if you have yet to find it, is somebody who's not going to cheat on you, somebody who's not messing around, somebody who's ready for commitment, somebody that you can trust. This makes sense as well that we have the world card because one cycle has completed. I do feel that here. You know, it's like the end of the road for one situation and it's coming to perhaps a fork in the road where, you know, you got to make a decision. And some of you guys are choosing in a different direction, choosing to move on to see what else is out there for you. Now, take a look at the next couple of cards here, guys. We've got the King of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So King and Queen showing up, both in the upright. So I feel this might be your next relationship. This is somebody who, when it comes to the Divine Masculine, emotional maturity, as we can see right there, this is somebody whose heart is open to love, who doesn't have any commitment issues. This is somebody who's devoted to the connection. And we do have the Divine Feminine coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Feminine, perhaps, ready to give fully of your heart space, of your, of your all, basically, to your masculine, to the right masculine, who really can be on the same level as you, the same type of mentality, what it is that you're looking for. You know, you guys are on the same page rather than somebody who might have hurt you through infidelity and cheating and possible third-party situations. All right, so that's what's coming through here. Leo, let's go ahead and see what else we can learn here for you. All right, so let's grab some additional advice from the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love Deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. What else for Leo? Netflix and chill. Let's make plans. You know, this could, of course, be a new relationship for some of you where you're still in the planning stages. You're still wanting to really discover what it is about this person that you like or even love. Check this out. Sorry, I kept lying to you. Okay, so I'm not surprised to see that with cards like the Seven of Swords because there was deception there. And so it is coming through for some of you that that really hurt you. And more than likely, that's also what ended the relationship. Let's go ahead and grab another message here. Even if we can't work things out, let's remain friends. That, of course, is totally up to you, Leo. If you can still see this person even as a friend, knowing full well that they hurt you, cheated, there was betrayal, some sort of deceptive behavior there. However, take a look at this, and this might be the response from you, Leo. Don't contact me. Sorry, I have moved on. And that's pretty much what we've seen so far in the cards that have already come forward, right? You know, it's like moving on, and some, some of you have already done that. That's clearly indicated right there. So let's go ahead and grab some additional advice from Tarot. I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos Tarot deck here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. Yeah, some of you guys have decided to go in a different direction. Understandably so. And this person still wants to be friends. But they clearly did something here to hurt you and you're not interested for some of you guys. All right, we do have these three cards coming through. So here is the Divine Masculine coming in as the Emperor. 
we do have the Strength card right here that, of course, represents Leo. And then we've got the Ace of Swords. So it is the masculine that's coming through wanting to still fix this situation. Okay, but as we can clearly see, some of you guys have already moved on. So remember, we ended up getting the Him card earlier. Could represent the Divine Masculine in this whole equation wanting to fix this. And, you know, maybe they're not feeling very confident, which is why they have to tap into their inner strength to be able to be brave enough to fix this and come towards you, regardless of the consequences here. You know, this right here also, Leo, could be giving you the opportunity to have cut this person out of your life because they hurt you so deeply. And that in and of itself could require a lot of strength on your part to be able to do that. But this person that you are in separation from, more than likely, they think about you often. This is picking up off of past influences here. And more than likely, they're still desiring a reunion or at least wanting to be a part of your life, even if it is just to remain friends. But I do pick up from this reading for my Leos that there could be a part of you that's really done with this individual and you just want this new beginning to be able to direct your life towards somebody well-deserving of your time and energy and of your love, even if there is someone from your past who wants to reconcile with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we can pick up through some angel numbers here for the collective. For Leo, angels and spirit guides, please. All right, so we have 660 coming through here. You do not have to compromise your own integrity to get what you want. Assert yourself accordingly. And this can apply to the other person too, especially if they're responsible for hurting you or disappointing you in the relationship. Okay, let's see. 1818. All right, 1818. Focus on what you want rather than what you fear. A balanced mind is required at this time. And I absolutely love that for you, Leo, because again, the strength card here, your own Leo energy is really wanting you to overcome your fears, you know, tapping into your inner strength and doing what feels right for you. Okay, let's see what else. We have 55. Reserve your right to say no. Look at that. Enabling toxic behavior serves no one in the end, which is why I was pretty much picking up that some of you guys, you're done with this person who hurt you. You're not interested in revisiting it. Maybe in your heart of hearts, you know, you still care for them, but I don't see, for some of you anyway, that you would take this person back just based off of the history that we've seen because. You certainly deserve somebody who's not going to cheat on you, who won't betray your trust, who's going to be upfront and honest with you rather than lying to you. Okay, um, let's go ahead and grab this last one here. We have 10, 10. There is a divine plan in order. Let go of your need to know future events. So this really just comes down to you trusting what the universe has planned, trusting your your own intuition, perhaps, you know, and what is on its way to you, because I have a feeling what's meant for you will come for you anyway. All right, guys, so I will leave that there. Hopefully there's something here that resonates with you this time. And if not, hopefully I'll be able to tap into your situation next time. And I'll wrap things up there. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box, as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.